Representative Raul Labrador is a Republican from Idaho. He was at a town hall event. And listen to what he said about health care. You are mandating people on Medicaid except dying. You are making a No, no one wants people. anybody to die. You know, that, that line is so indefensible. Nobody dies because they don't have access to health care. <laughs> the reaction of the audience says it all. That's unbelievable. That guy's a congressman. He's a congressman. He just said nobody dies because they don't have access to health care. Dude, how little do you know? You talk about the D.C. bubble. This is, you know, this is the definition of the D.C. bubble. That's what that is. That's quintessential D.C. bubble. I don't see anybody dying because of lack of health care, so it must not exist. Everybody I know has a beautiful house and paid off their mortgage and has a vacation home and drives a nice car. I don't- what's the problem? Hear no evil, see no evil. What are you talking about? That's why when they- they pass this goofy-ass, backwards, insane healthcare legislation, they act like, what is the problem? You know what they're arguing today? I think we're gonna do a story on this tomorrow. Paul Ryan argued that even though there's an $880 billion cut in Medicaid, uh, nobody's gonna lose Medicaid. <laughs> what the fuck? You, how do you just say that? They just say shit that's just demonstrably untrue, and it's fucking crazy. But they just say shit. Yeah, uh, nobody dies from lack of health care. What? The, how did you fucking let those words come out of your mouth? So, you know, what's the reality? Well, in the United States, according to a Harvard study from 2009, you have 45,000 people that die every year because they don't have access to basic health care. That number may have been cut a little bit under uh, Obamacare but we still have over 10 million people uninsured on Obamacare, so there's still deaths because of lack of uh, coverage and lack of getting basic health care. So th the number we have is 45,000 people die every year. And you know what the other problem is here? The media. Because Raul Labrador, he probably, you know, hey, I watch Fox News, I watch CNN, he watches them, and they're busy talking about missing fucking Malaysian planes, and Fox News is busy accusing some corporate Democrat of being a Marxist or some shit. So they're not talking about anything serious, and this guy, so he's like, what do you mean? I ne I've never seen any fucking segment where they talk about people dying in the U.S. because they don't have health care. So no, people don't die because they don't have health care in the U.S. Well, yes they do, they just don't fucking cover it because they're useless. They're useless. These people, these are real people who have stories, they have families, they have lives, and they've died because they don't have basic health care. But Raul Labrador doesn't know it, doesn't see it, doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. We gotta wipe these guys out, man. With the corporate Democrats, what do you get? You get Obamacare apologetics. Even though people still die because they don't have access to basic health care. Even though there's still millions of people who are uninsured. The best you'll get from a corporate Democrat is, Well, Obamacare is uh, great, Obamacare, yeah, woo. Old school right wing bill. What do you get from the Republicans nowadays? That. Nobody even dies because of lack of health care, which is even fucking, you know, eons dumber. I mean, that's just, whoa, man. That's a whole new level of stupid. So, let's get rid of both of them. Corporate Democrats, gone. Republicans like this, forget it. <laughs> I mean, that audience was apoplectic. Like, what the fuck did you just say? JusticeDemocrats.com, let's clean house here, man. Quite literally, clean the House of Representatives, get real progressives who are going to push for Medicare for all. Let's not deal with the corporate Dems anymore, and let, let's not deal with these even crazier fucking Republicans who say shit like this.